So, um, so the nearest payphone was about an hour and 40 minute walk. That was fucking insane. There was still payphones somewhat at the time, still around, somewhat. That's how, I, that's how I was able to get in touch with a few friends for them to turn around and tell me that they had just been trying to call my cell phone and they left, and either way, they left me messages. It was my answering machine, but I wasn't getting those messages. That's when, that's when a few more people, like, like, I literally, like, called outside their fucking house, left a message on their answer machine, like, like, that happened, like, quite a bit with a few different people, like, and then I just waited for them to show up to their house and was like, could I just check your answer machine? I left you a message, I just want to make sure it's there, and there were so many different fucking, wow, times that it wasn't even fucking there. It's like, dude, I, you know, in other words, they weren't at the fucking home. Nobody was home. I was the only one fucking near. I was there before they were there. So it gets better because <clears throat> then as I'm, I'm applying for DSS, as I'm fucking applying for a whole bunch of other shit, because now I'm thinking, fuck this, I'm, you know what, I'm fucking, maybe I am fucking crazy, you know, because it, that's what I mean, all this other shit I blocked out, out of my fucking head, like, quick, I'm not doing that shit no more, fuck that, nah, fuck that, man, because it's what, what I just remembered fucking, which definitely fucking, yo, holy shit, man, holy shit, so, so, I'm being completely fucking, I'm being completely fucking cut off, at that point, from everything and everyone or anyone that fucking cares about me, any fucking type of fucking anything at that point, I'm being completely fucking cut off from, in the middle of a fucking place where I'm like, dude, this is not okay, alright, I get, I get a fucking, uh, caseworker, right, and this is why I'm making this video, because I know I've been saying a lot of fucking really fu And it's going to go right back to the fucking crazy shit, as far as fucking cursing out fucking ethnicities and shit, okay? Let me, let me tell you something. My first caseworker, she's filling out some paperwork with me and everything. And I had her for like, I don't know, like if it was like a year, a year and a half. I didn't have, like, almost any contact with anybody because I didn't have a phone. The nearest phone was fucking an hour and 45 minutes away. I wasn't trying to walk around and get into fucking trouble, which, which later on I realized that that fucking area, that's exactly what they were trying to fucking make it look like I was fucking up to. Now, this woman... This woman, and I, I, don't, I don't remember her freaking name, and that's really fucking me up right now, because she was a sweetheart, and she put in paperwork for me, and a lot of things started going fucking right, but she's like, alright, with everything else out of the way, right, with everything else that we just got out of the way, and, and the thing that I needed the most at the time is a fucking cell phone, I needed a fucking cell phone right, and she knew this, because she's like, that's fucking crazy, that the fucking, like, even if I had to call the fucking people, I had to walk an hour and fucking 40 minutes up the fucking road, and my fucking legs and shit were not exactly feeling that fucking walk, you understand, there were days that my fucking legs, my, yo, dude, yo, you, you're not getting what I'm, you know what, I don't like talking about my fucking personal fucking issues to my fucking enemies, okay, to let them know how to fucking dismantle me further, fuck you, you fucking cunt motherfucking little pussy bitch nigga motherfuckers, my point being is that this caseworker was a heavy set black lady, and right before she had to stop being my caseworker, due to from what I remember, she got a promotion, she's like, 
She's like, you're you're probably one of the, my favorite people. She's like, you're always so nice. You're always so this. She's like freaking... But the bottom line is that she... But she's like... Here's the thing. When she put in the fucking application for the fucking cell phone... She's like... you. They denied you. She's like, I've had hundreds of fucking clients. She's like, I never seen somebody get denied when they need like you know in a situation like this where they need a cell phone they fucking denied me a fucking cell phone their fucking office denied me a cell phone here's where it gets fucking interesting after right before she left like i mean the last time the very last time that i seen this woman that i cannot remember her name and i wish i could the very last time that I had her as a caseworker, there was a fucking, there was a fucking, um, there was like a sale for cell phones, like prepaid type of cell phones. And she brought me down to the fucking radio shack it was it wasn't that much out of her own pocket but she did do like something nice you know and she was able to get me a cell phone with her own money she said you have to put you know you know this is kind of affordable for you you know, because you're only getting like 60 fucking something dollars, $60 like every two weeks, you know, like this is, you know, you have to try to fucking make this, you know, because it was affordable. It was something like for 10 minutes, I got like fucking for $10 or something like that. I got fucking X amount of minutes and fucking, it was like, all right, this, I can do this. Because some of those places you're on the fucking phone at the time. You were on the fucking phone on hold for like an hour. But, you know, a fucking, you know, per minute, that's a lot, okay? You know, 500 minutes goes fucking pretty quick when you're on the phone for fucking two hours, right? So th th that's not the fucking point. The next person I get as a caseworker is Gene Hennessy. Who knows Mike Hennessy? Who also knows, if I'm correct on this, it was fucking Danny Flynn. You motherfucking cunt. Yo, that caseworker did fucking absolutely nothing for me. And the day that I fucking got rid of her as a caseworker, I was like, don't even fucking bother. I'm like, you're doing absolutely nothing for me. And I'll tell you that in a minute. 